Hey, so in this one, we're going to quickly look at how we can create um, sort of a finish line. So we could go, stand, and then we'll register, create a widget that will tell us that we've won, and that'll be it. So let's jump straight in, and I'll try and explain everything as we are going. So if we hypothetically, let's just say this box here, if this was what we wanted to land on, and uh, we'll make it a little bit more challenging. We'll move it up here, move it up there. In case you've not used Unreal before, you know we can see the previous shadow. It's because we have this red box that says we need to rebuild lighting, which would just hit that, but we're not going to because it takes a bit of time and you have to do it all the time. So only do it when you need it to. All right, now the level's in place, we can use one of our basic components. So we've got these basic ones here. We're going to use a basic box trigger. I'm just going to drag and drop that on this box, which I'll scale up with the keyboard shortcut R and then put in place like that. Maybe I'll shrink it a little bit, increase the height. So what's going to happen is when we, when our player jumps into this box, jumps into this volume, that's what we'll tell the player that they've won. So what we'll need to do is get our player and edit him. So I find the easiest way to use if because I've got stars content on and like there's a whole bunch of stuff. You could go through your folders and open up your third person character that way or you could just click edit the third person character from your hierarchy. Okay so we've got a bunch of stuff. We're not going to worry about this too much for now but what we are going to do is we are going to create a variable and we'll call it win trigger. And on the right hand side, it says here, there's no default value. Comp Boolean, as we know from our practice, a Boolean is a true or false. So when we compile that, it'll say, is it true or false? But we don't want a Boolean. We're actually gonna use a different variable type called a box trigger, or a trigger box even. Trigger box. And now, once we've created this trigger box, we get a bunch of default um, preset events. And as we know, an event is the start of a method or a function. So what we can do is we can just grab a, a begin overlap and hit the little plus and it'll add this to our blueprint section. So when the actor begins overlap with win trigger, at that point, this is when we want to tell the player we've won. And just like in Unity, we'll use a print or a debug.log. In this case, we'll just say win. So when we overlap with the thing, we should just say win. But the box trigger, notice here, it's not actually got a default value. We've not set it to anything. So what we need to do is we need to make it a public variable. Right now, this is a private variable. And again, if you remember when we use Unity, when we declare our variables, we would set if they're public or private. And the way to do this is to just click this eyeball. And now this is public and it's accessible and we can do whatever we want with it. So I'm just going to move this window out of the way. And with my player selected in the um, details component, I can scroll down until I see win trigger or I could just do a search. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click in the little drop down and say trigger box. And let's give this a test, make sure it works. So run, run, run. And you can see now in the top left, it printed win. So that's a simple sort of, you know, Mario style, get from one side level to the other. We could do a really complicated set of stuff with this, you know, dragging out a bunch more cubes, making like a whole bunch of like crazy platforming sections. If we wanted to, I'll just control Z those. But it's not very pretty. So let's make it a little bit prettier. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my content folder and create a new folder called widgets. Now widgets are essentially UI items that we can edit. So inside our widget folder, I'm going to right click, go to user interface and click on widget blueprint, which I'll just call win screen underscore widget. And remember no spaces in programming otherwise you're going to have a bad time. So I'm going to open it up. And this is going to be super simple. This box represents our viewport. 
and full screen I'm just going to drag a text in here and edit it saying you win uh, let's make it shiny yellow you can play with this it be worth so having a bit of a look at it and see what sort of options you've got I'm going to make my selection box bigger so it's easy to click if I ever need to. So you win. And yeah, that'll do for now. Like I so say, you, you can add a bit more to this if you want to sort of make it stand out and be pretty and change your fonts. Though Unreal's only got one font by default, which you just need to install new ones. But that'll do. And what we'll do is after it's been... So again, it's worth noting here that in a widget, instead of in a blueprint, we have our basic events, which are begin play and update. Have we got any on here? We do not have those. No, in default we don't have those, but normally you'd see, in like same in Unity, you'd have event tick and event begin play. How this works is we've got event construct, which is just, it's gonna fire once, like begin play, and then we've got our event tick, which we used to. Pre-construct, however, um, we'll try and run before we actually call the widget. So we don't need to do that one very often, but like if we're loading some st stuff, we might do. So what we'll just do is we're gonna do a really simple event construct, delay. Let's just delay it, I don't know, three seconds, and then we'll remove widget. So remove from parent is what we want. And what that's going to do is we're going to hit the win point and we're going to need to create this widget. So when we hit the widget, we're just going to create widget. Oh, um, I just deleted it one, but if you, you can just untick it or you could keep the print string in there, it's up to you. So the widget we want to create is our windscreen, and then we're going to take this widget and add to viewport. Not off this one, I dragged off the blue, but the return value bit doesn't matter, you could drag off the other one. The blue just, it gives you less options on return. So, let's see if this works. You win, woo! Awesome, nice and easy.